Thanks, Thanks everyone for coming. I am Nancy Cavish, the co-founder of Profiling Man. And I'm Marcia Capiston, co-founder, also a Profiling Man. So behind me you see a whole bunch of different uh, dating websites. I'm sure some of these are familiar to you. Match.com, eHarmony, FarmersOnly.com. Just by a quick show of hands, how many people here know somebody, or themselves even, who have tried online dating? Pretty, pretty much about 80% looks like, 85, 90%. Uh, it's, it's become a huge industry. It's uh, definitely it's, uh, become very accepted, and uh, within the last five to seven years, that stigma has sort of seemed to tear away. It's not like now these days you say, oh, where did you meet so-and-so? Online. You know, that sort of seemed to go. Online dating is a $2 billion industry, and the available market in the United States, we have 54 million singles, 41 million of them, as of 2013, have tried online dating. Uh, again, that stigma has been released. One of the biggest reasons, 35% of all marriages start online today. That's one out of every three marriages. And the average, daily spend, uh, average yearly spend is $239 per online dater. What I love about my job is not only the fact that we get to promote honesty and love across the internet, which is, we know is always prevalent, it's people's reactions when, we, when they ask, what do you do for a living? Well, you know, people write online dating profiles. It's always a smile, always a laugh, because it's not the answer you've ever heard before. It's, you know, it's not an answer we've ever heard before when we came up with this idea. About a year ago, a friend of ours called us and wanted help with this online dating profile. He had been struggling. He is a PhD, law degrees professor at Creighton, an intelligent guy, and he does, didn't know how to write his profile. He, you know, was not having any luck. So we sat down, got my red pen out, and I just went to work. Because I've been only dating for years. I know there's tons of horrible profiles out there. You know what to do, what not to do, but certainly what pictures you should use. And. Uh, it's just two weeks later, after we finished his profile, he met a girl who was perfectly matched for him and dated her for close to a year. So I was watching this interaction. We were actually at a sports bar, and she's out there with this pen. And here's this guy who's extremely intelligent, and he had no idea where to start. And I thought to myself, how many other people are in the same predicament? And at that point, we said, our little aha moment, why not start a company? So we started Profile Wingman. And we realized there was a need there, and we tried to really systematically build a site to be able to speak to people in the same place. Other people like Scott, our friend. And we very carefully crafted a brand and a promise uh, that, would, that would transfer honesty to people. And it's not just honesty from us to our clients, but it's honesty from our clients to their prospective daters. If you show up on a date and we write your profile for you, but we write it in our voice and try to make you sound different than you are, We've got the catfish effect. So one of the things we really tried to foster was learning our client's voice and to honestly portray their, their uh, profiles. So we built this website. And we did a whole bunch of outreach, Google, Facebook. And we really, as a lean, small company, you know, we're not a typically scalable company. So as a very lean company, we realized that very quickly we'd go through a marketing budget very fast. So one of the ways that we did a big outreach is we're very active in our blog. We write a couple blogs a month, and that is how we really have organically gotten people to find us. Um, we do a lot of stuff uh, through contests, through Reddit, through other places, and we've been very successful, and we're pretty proud of that. If you go on Google and you look up dating profile writing services, we are the first hit to come up, Profile Wingman's the first search you'll find that's not a paid search. And uh, that's something we're really proud of, and Nancy's blogs have definitely helped on that part, so. Yes, I've learned a lot about SEO in the past years. <laughs> so, and you're probably wondering, what is it that we do for people? How do we help? Uh, you know, aside from writing the profiles, we have a variety of services, including email systems, sometimes that's where people get hung up. What do you say? Um, but, you know, first and foremost, we are dating site agnostic. We don't judge whatever site you want to be on. We're happy to write a profile for it. Our most popular service is the complete profile build-out, where we involve a short questionnaire, a Skype interview, and then we'll write your profile from scratch. We'll even do a screening and help with photos. Our up-and-coming 
service, which is closest to our subscription-based service, the concierge, which we, between us, call our holding hands service. These are people that need a little more help. They, you know, we help for a full four weeks. We write their profile, we help with emails, we give advice, we give a lot of pep talks. Sometimes we have to get tough and, you know, shake them a little bit, but uh, people, you know, at the end, the goal is to help teach them, you know, how to step out on their own, you know, on the right foot and really shorten their time online. Uh, the one service that we provide at no charge is the photo assistance because we are determined to rid the internet of shirtless back in the selfies. You all know that, obviously. <laughs> so where are we going to go from here? Well, we do love what we do. And uh, so one of the things we want to continue through our blog and through our outreach is fostering this trust on online dating. We want to stop that catfish effect, remove any remaining stigma from online dating, and rid the web of those bad dating photos. In larger pictures, sort of more concrete goals, we'd like to one day be able to partner with dating sites, other established websites, to offer this profile on online dating help and experience um, enhancements. Uh, a white label service kind of thing, if, if you will. And uh, as a personal goal, we've set up within the next few months to be able to have at least one new client a day. Right now, we're averaging about three clients a week, three to four new clients a week. Uh, but we'd like to enhance that and grow. Uh, just really quick, we do have a slide that does talk about what one MC can do. Should, can we, should we go to that now? Okay. So, how can you guys be our wingman? Oh no! All right. We'll just leave that right there. So uh, thank you very much. All right. Great. Questions.